Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to easily import a bunch of image files from your computer directly into your repeatable Figma layers in your design in Figma, uh, along with any text content that you also wanna add. So we're gonna be able to do this without having to first upload those images to a server somewhere. You'll be able to import those image files directly from your computer uh, using the CopyDoc plugin. So to get started, we just need to install the plugin by going to the resources icon at the top of your Figma file. If you click on that and then search for CopyDoc, so that's C-O-P-Y-D-O-C, -O -O and under the plugins tab, you'll see CopyDoc pop up. And all you need to do to run it is either click on this run button here, or you can click on this little more options icon and just hit save Figma plugin, and that'll save it to your plugins list for easy access later. So I've already gone ahead and done that. So I'm gonna right click on my canvas, just gonna go down to plugins, then I'm gonna go down to saved plugins and click on the CopyDoc option. And that should just open up the plugin we just saved a second ago. Okay, so to get started, all we need to do is first make sure that we've got our component or our rows uh, in our Figma file that we want to sync content to. So in this case, I've got this little movie card, and this is going to correspond to a spreadsheet that I've got set up in Excel. And you can see here, I've got three columns. I've got an image column, I've got a title column and a genre column. And you can see on the first row of the file, these are my uh, headings or my row label for those different content pieces. And these correspond with my Figma file. So if we go to our Figma file, we've got this little simple component and you can see here that we've got three layers. We've got an image layer, a title layer, and a genre layer. So these two are text layers and this one is just a rectangle uh, layer. So you'll notice that the layer names are identical to the names of our header in the spreadsheet file. And this is important because it's gonna tell the plugin which bits of content we wanna to sync to what layer. So in this case, you can see that the image layer is matching up with this column, our title layer is matching up with this uh, text icon, and the genre column is matching up with this text layer here. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna be syncing up uh, these bits of content with these designs here. And let's just add one more so I can show you how I got that image uh, link in there as well. So I'm just gonna copy this layer uh, here and it's kept our names. So we've got the same layer names uh, in our instance here. And what I'm gonna do is add one more movie to sync up in this file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Google. I'm gonna go to Google Images and I'm gonna search for another movie. So let's do uh, the menu movie and we'll just search for the poster. And you can click on any of these results. And what you wanna do is basically find the image that you want to use. And in this case, we're gonna save it to our computer. So we're gonna right click on the image we're gonna click on save image as, and then we're just gonna save it to a folder that we've got our images in. You can name the image if that's easier. So we can do the menu poster. So I've just saved that to my images folder that I've got set up on my desktop. And you can see here that we've just saved it as this image here. So if we open that up, you can see that's now on our computer. So what we wanna do is we wanna take that image name and we wanna copy it into our spreadsheet. So I'm gonna copy it under my image uh, row and just paste it into the uh, fifth row there. And then I'm gonna give the title a name. So I'm gonna give it the name of the menu and then I'm just gonna categorize it as a comedy. So that's basically now pointing to this image file that we've saved in our images folder here. So you'll notice that the spreadsheet file is saved here. So we've got our movies spreadsheet file. And then I've created a second uh, folder next to it called images. And I've put all of the images that I'm referencing in my spreadsheet into that folder. Now you don't have to put them into a subfolder. You can just have them uh, sitting uh, alongside the spreadsheet, but just to keep things easier and neater, if you just organize them into a folder, that's gonna be easier uh, to manage. So now that we've got our images folder and we've got our spreadsheet completed, what we're gonna do is we're now gonna create a zip file containing all of these files. So what we need to do is select our images folder and our spreadsheet, and then you just wanna right click on both of those files and click on compress. So that's gonna create a new zip file and inside of that zip file contains the spreadsheet and this folder full of images. So you can call that whatever you want. It's just called archive in this case. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you call the zip file. And now what we can do is we can go back into Figma and we're gonna click on this little button here called sync content. So in the spreadsheet uh, content option, just click on sync content. And that's gonna bring up this little pop-up window in the plugin here. 
So it's going to tell you to either drag and drop an Excel file or a CSV file or a zip file containing either a CSV file or an Excel file along with any images that you might reference in that spreadsheet. So in this case, we can drop in the zip file that we just created. So I'm going to drag and drop that zip file from our folder and I'm going to drag and drop that directly into this little drop zone in the CopyDoc plugin. And you can see here it's automatically opened up the zip file in our plugin and it's got a preview of the spreadsheet columns that we've used so you can see that we've got our image title and genre and you can see down here that if we select the layers we want to sync i'm just selecting uh, the top level layers here that we want to sync and what that's going to do is it's going to repeat through those four different layers so you can see here it's got four layers selected and it's going to sync the content once we click this button so you can choose the order that you sync it. Uh, this will change the order uh, based on different properties in your Figma lay layer names or position. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna keep it really simple and go top to bottom uh, as far as the rows go. And then all you need to do is click on the sync rows button. So I'm gonna click on that now. And you can see it's updated content for 12 different Figma layers. And just to go over what that's done, is it's basically gone through each of these rows. So it's gone through two, three, four, and five uh, using the first row as the label. So it's basically looking for any layer names that match this uh, heading label. So as we had a look at before, this title uh, layer has been replaced with the content from this uh, cell here. And then we've got comedy, which is being swapped into the genre layer. And importantly, we've got our image which we've labeled as image, and that's now using the uh, image name, and that image name matches the image file that we included in our zip. And so that's how it was able to read those images and automatically paste them or uh, create them in these different layers that we had. So that's what that looks like there. Uh, the other cool thing you can do if you don't want to uh, sync a bunch of existing layers is your alternate thing you can do is also generate a table. So with the data that you've already uploaded, if you instead wanted to create a brand new table, for example, you can do that by clicking on this generate table button. And that will also just generate a Figma table for you as well. So that's just a new layer, separate layer. You can uh, modify that however you want. And it basically just takes whatever uh, layout you've got in your uh, spreadsheet here, and it automatically pops it into here. For example, you can see here, we've got our image uh, row. If you need to change the dimensions of that, you can just change the uh, component level uh, one up here. So we've got our header component, and then these are just rows, which are instances as well. So you can actually just go ahead and hide that row if you want uh, as well. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a really uh, stripped down, simple example of how to sync uh, image layers directly from your computer into Figma. And this is really handy if you don't wanna go through the trouble of uploading your images somewhere first. Uh, if you've watched a previous tutorial, you know that you can also include uh, HTML uh, image links. So if you wanted to paste in an image URL of an image that's already online somewhere, you can definitely do that. So you can actually paste in uh, that whole URL. So if you, if you, instead of saving the image, you could just copy the URL of that image, paste that in here, and that would automatically download the image uh, through the plugin. But in this case, we're just using local images that we've already got. So this is gonna be much faster. It doesn't have to download all the image content each time. You've already got it in your zip file. And it also just makes it easier uh, taking out that middle, middle step of uh, uploading your images somewhere else first. Okay, so I think we'll leave it there for today. I hope that's been helpful. If you've been wondering how to uh, sync local images uh, really easily with your content in Figma uh, using this uh, CopyDoc plugin is gonna be a really easy way to do it. So uh, feel free to have a go yourself and I hope it works out for you or your team if you are automating your content process uh, using local images like this. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.